I run you up and down the Serengeti. Heads ain't ready. I chew you up and spit you out like chicken confetti. My rhymes are heavy like elephants. Stomping your regiments. Dismembering all your limbs. Ripping your ligaments. I break you down to an atom. Change your chemical structure. Roots and culture. You don't want to vote for this brother. I'm like a time bomb. Over a fresh can of whips. A handful of solid plexiglass. Got you face down in the grass. Ready to blast. Sticky for your jewels and your cash. Call me Robin Hood. Take the loot back to the hood. I wish you would try to retaliate. I wait like a sniper. Beat you like Street Fighter. I heat you up like a lighter. Don't need no ghost writer. Original skill. Killing at will. Terminate your career like the pill. This is real. Not no fiction. Came up for my jurisdiction. I'm live within you. Whether freestyle or written. Hitting hard like a hammer. Like a natural disaster. Like a hurricane. Plain and simple. Bringing the pain. Won the battle. What, 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 what? I'm ready to do this, beat your ass like Lennox Lewis, play you out like Walker Lewis, you must be foolish. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? This is the OGs of the DMV. Happy Easter weekend. We're doing a live performance this Saturday morning. We're coming to you live because there's no time for edits. No time for edits today. <laughs> no baby. time it's for edits. Sunday. Take that, take that. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Take it as you get it. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. That's Big Al up there, man. What Grinding with me every day. And Trey Z is here, but he is incognito at the moment. And he just popped out, but he'll pop back in a little bit later. Listen, he's back from the wetlands. He's nice and dry now, but he needed a couple of days to decompress. You know, you can't go uh, Mahersha Ali on somebody. You got to come back home. You got to chill out for a minute. Uh, <laughs> in any of you uh, young folks don't know, that's a don't know about blade, that one. <laughs> blade reference. So chill out. Big Al, it is lion season, my brother. It is lion, lion. season. I've heard so many lies to, from J.J. McCarthy being the number two pick to Chicago not wanting Caleb Williams because of the fingernail painting. <laughs> uh, moving uh, uh, Drake Maypole thing, he moving up and down of the box. He's from uh, second to tenth, you know. And, and, and if you watch this pro day, you know, somebody must have told him he couldn't hit the side of a barn because he hit the side of the barn. <laughs> that dude, he, one of his shots, man, hit the hit the wall so hard, man, it echoed. So I mean, yeah, he read it. He read it his throw. So he made, it. but still. That's the kind of thing you, you watch out for him because he's there's still a, a work in progress, man. Yeah, yeah. Progress. Him and Drake may are work in progress, man. That's they, right. They work got a strong progress. arm, though. The arm is strong. Hey, the barn almost hey, fell he, out. He almost put a hole in the barn. But... <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it is lion season, and I've heard a lot of lying about my man Terry McLaurin being traded. What is that about? I mean, listen, you can't trade Terry, man. He, he just got a brand-new contract. He's the leader of the team. He's like one of them things that you, you go into the store and you like it and you're like, man, that is nice. I wonder how much that is. You pick it up and it ain't got no tag on it. That joke is expensive. Either it is not for sale or it's expensive. That's Terry sitting on the shelf. He ain't got no tag on it. You want him? You better pay a lot because we need him here as one of the leaders of the team. But before we make that decision, let me see what you got. Talk to me. That's like the number two pick. Talk to me. What you got? Well, we I mean, play, but we like to know what's out there. Tell me what you got, big guy. Well, I mean, we see all kinds of AI pictures and people's elbows are swelling and all kinds of stuff is going on. Like this. So right now, you really can't believe anything that you hear. Everybody's jockeying for a position. You know, mm -hmm. our particular team is basically starting all over again. We're getting, we are going to, you know, have a basically a brand new team. I think probably about 60% of the team is going to be new faces that we don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At least 60% of the team. So, you know, it's just – that's just what is happening right now is that you got um, Harbaugh um, trying to redo um, the uh, Chargers franchise. You got um, the Raiders trying to move up and get a quarterback. You got um, Minnesota trying to get a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got right. – you got, you know, you got, you know, a bunch of teams trying to jockey for positions because the draft is so deep. It's a pretty deep draft with it's quarterbacks and wide receivers, you know, and, mm -hmm. and also secondary players, too, is pretty good, too. So, you know, not too many offensive linemen, not too many 
defensive linemen, mostly quarterbacks, offensive linemen, and wide receivers and some DBs. There's quite a few good little DBs out there too. So everybody's jockeying for those positions, man. And I think as time goes on, the rookie player or the the draft pick is more and more important because they cheat. <laughs> you, you get them on a rookie deal. You get them for four years or three to four years or sometimes five, and it's a good you know. And most mm-hmm. NFL careers are between three and six years. You know what I'm saying? So you know that it's a cheap, cheap. You know, it's a cheap deal. So everybody's jockeying for these players, man. And there's quite a few good ones out there because the um. People have fifth and sixth years that were in the college, so they're a pretty adult. Guys are coming out for the draft, so they mature. Mm-hmm. So people are trying to get these mature players locked up for three to three to five years. That is true. Everybody wants the shiny penny. Everybody that's wants the shiny, penny. the shiny penny. They want to bring somebody on that's going to turn their franchise into a Super Bowl winner. Right. And, and, and as you mentioned it, uh, that's part of the issue. I mean, it isn't an issue for me. But everybody's saying that uh, when uh, Jaden Daniels hits the field, he's going to be 24. J.J. McCarthy is going to be 21. So, like, listen, quarterbacks are playing for extra five years now. They're not out here, you know, hitting that, hitting that 32 and be ready to retire. Shoot, they're going to 35, 36 now. So, you give me a quarterback this in this draft that can last me 10 years, I'll be okay with that. I'll be okay with that. I mean, we're trying to find one the last two years. We couldn't do that. So you right. can do it for 10 years? Come on, man. I'm going to take that every day. So uh, all, the, all the concerns about him being aged up, I mean, that just means he's played a lot of football. He's played a lot of football. He's seen a lot of defense. I don't really care. And we, we're going to go into this in our draft series this week coming up. Uh, we're doing three shows uh, starting this Thursday. Uh, you probably get it on Saturday, but whatever. Um, so I, I I don't care about the age. I, I I care about whether they can read a defense or not. Can you read it? That's the most important thing, man. Can you read an NFL defense? Because you can have the strongest arm in the world, but can't read the NFL defense, which means that you're gonna be late on every pass, and it's gonna be a potential to be intercepted. And that's why you you have to throw the ball so hard you won't be able to layer it. But whatever, we're gonna go into that. Um, Today is just a, a happy Easter, you know, just letting everybody know that it's lion season. So when uh, people say stuff in the comments or say stuff on YouTube and you know, all these uh, new YouTube guys, shoot, we've been here four or five years, you know, third iteration of this show, um, don't always listen. They're doing it for, for, for clicks and likes is what they say, what the young folks say. Clicks and likes. Clicks and likes. Baby. Hanging in, it was, it's almost over, Big Al. <laughs> so before more weeks, you got the draft coming up, and we can move on from the Lions season to the actual building of our team. Because we've been signing a lot of off-brand people lately, and it's just uh, uh you know camp fillers, most of them. Most you know, of them. Yeah. Because you give them a contract, that doesn't, that doesn't mean they get paid for a year. That just means that you know they're trying out for the team. It's, it's like Trey Z; he don't get on the field for less than a mil. <laughs> so, you know, you, you gotta wait. You gotta wait it out. So we're gonna see if we these guys made the team. But I do like the additions that we've made through uh, through the uh, free agency, the the main moves. You know, the, the headliners. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do like those guys. And uh, we 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 we're in contract talks right now with Tracy. Hey, you know, Tracy popped up. I told you he don't hit the field for less than a mil. Less than a million, but he come in late. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he a late free agent. <laughs> Ali style, baby. He, he a late free somebody. agent. <laughs> hey, we were just talking about the Lion season, man, and and Terry. They lied about Terry being on the, on the on the trade block, and you know, lying about the quarterbacks, man. What do you think about all that? You gotta be uh, uh, strategic, yeah. man. You gotta be strategic. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all hear me? Yeah, we good. Got to be strategic, man. Strategic, you know, and and every little bit counts, man. And I think that we was in a position where everything was going to be uh, questionable anyway. So uh, it was, uh, hey, look, we we were trying to make sure that everything was possible, brother. 
That's what I think. No doubt. No yeah. doubt. Yeah, yeah Deacon, yeah. I, I don't know if it's a lie or not a lie, but I think, you know, because we were perennial losers for the last, you know. Perennial. <laughs> we are. That's what we were, man. For the last couple of years, I think everything is on the table. I just think right now it's lying season, so we don't know what's true and what's not true. You know what I'm saying? It's, you no, know, yeah, I get it. I get know, it, but Terry? We even, well, hey, uh, even Terry has an opportunity, most likely, if they do trade Terry, if that's a true lie or a true story or whatever it is, uh -huh. they probably going to trade him to somebody that's ready to go to the Super Bowl. And because we're building up our team now, we're not going to, next year, we're not going to be ready. To, I mean, let's face the fact. Next year, nah, you're right. we're building. So, we're not going to be ready to go to the Super Bowl next year. So if they are talking, to, hopefully they will trade them to a team that is ready to rock and roll towards, you know, championship year because he deserves that, you know what I'm saying? He just because the effort he put in for that terrible team, those terrible quarterbacks he had to play for, he, he deserves that if they are. If that's a true story. You know what I'm yeah, saying? No, I get it. And if he, if he was on his second contract going on, on his last year, I would say you're right. Mm -hmm. But uh, for now, he's he's needed here for his uh, leadership ability more than anything. That's and, true. And his work in the community, man. That that, that that you get rid of Terry, you get rid of a lot of fans. I think because they wouldn't understand why you would do something like that. Not everybody's as sophisticated as you, big Al. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, people look at football a different way. Some people yeah, they're really emotional. Yeah, to yeah. certain players as opposed to attached to the team. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Everybody's. Yeah. You know, I got my favorites too, man. Hey, I, it would hurt me to let go of sweat. I really like sweat, but we had to do it. You know what I'm saying? That was I was me. I was uh, sitting with Big Al one day. I didn't know why he was crying, <laughs> but when Hamburger retired, Big Al always cried. It really hit how big hard. Hey, man, I love me some Chris hard. Hamburger, man. I love me some Chris <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey hey, man. Coleman. Monty <laughs> Coleman. Hey, my favorite in the, my, my favorite draft pick is that dude named Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid, baby. Kool-Aid, man. Kool I want us to pick up Kool-Aid, man. I hope we can draft Kool-Aid. That's my next that's my next guy, man. Kool-Aid. Hey, I don't care if he can play or not. <laughs> Kool-Aid. I don't care if he can play. I just like his name, man. Kool-Aid. Yeah, Kool Alabama. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. <laughs> it's refreshing. Or is it lemon <laughs> drink? <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, hey Trey, baby, we pour that sugar in that Kool Aid, baby. You pouring all that sugar hey, in there. It wasn't nothing but sugar. Nothing but sugar. Diabetes on it. On it. Yeah, and look, uh, diabetes on the way. On the way. <laughs> all of us in the doctor's office, like, for real? Yeah. Like, you know, you right. had that great drink. <laughs> hey, you had man. that great drink for how long in your life? About 12 years, right? Hey man, I love his mother, man, for naming him that, man. He said his mom named him that, man. I said, he yeah, came out, he looked like Kool-Aid. Um, you about to start something, man. I'm trying to be nice today. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, there, there are a couple of guys with crazy names in the draft. Yeah, hey, Al. Hey, Al. <laughs> Look at how deep you Look at that. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. Can't hear your ancestors got you on that one. See that? <laughs> You about to say something you want to post? He's about to say something, man. Yeah. He's about to block something he'll need to be I saying. Say, I guess he just, he's like he's whispering in my ear. I, I got to take the deal for you guys. Like, oh, <laughs> talk like regular. Talk regular. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Oh man, the clown hole show has started already. Hey, it is Sunday morning, Saturday morning, <laughs> Saturday morning or Easter. Hey man, so, hey, listen, we I, have I fun, and we say hope it. everybody, huh? <laughs> no, Al just won't say it. I'll say it. <laughs> oh, well, I, I appreciate that, big Al. <laughs> I don't have headphones on. You do. <laughs> I know he can. <laughs> yeah, <it's> a... <laughs> It's feeling rather P. Diddy ish. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, hey, I got a boy that can know. We've been doing this, we've been doing this four years, man. Four years. So I finally got a microphone. What do you want me to do? <laughs> hey, man, I was just talking about, about uh, a microphone. Our brother, one of our brothers was talking about, man. He was like, man, I was saying, I was just saying how me and Deacon were having an issue 
uh, getting these microphones. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that yours is on because I will be calling you to uh, figure out how to get this working because it's just money sitting in a box right now. But okay, <laughs> back to business. So we have, uh, were you going to say that one? You were leading somewhere, Trey? Okay. So with the, with the draft coming up, we're going to do the series that we did last year. Uh, where the, this week is going to be a coaches show. Next, and the week after that is going to be the coaches and the scouts. And then the week after that is going to be coaches, scouts, and the GM. We had a lot of fun with it last year. And uh, if you were with us, were we cut last year? Did YouTube cut us last year after that show? No. Or no. Did, is that show still on the? Um, I think it's still on there with China Black. I think we still got it with China. All right. Well, China Black has signed back on to be our GM. You know, uh, so I gotta I make sure make sure I call him and remind him. Y'all, y'all, y'all wrong. Y'all, you know, y'all said both y'all said China Black twice. And nobody knows who that is. I, well, that's, <laughs> and y'all really paint now. Now, yeah, right. So let's leave it at that, so that we don't go ahead and make the correlation, and he don't come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just clarify, everybody. I said China Black, not Black China. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, relax, <laughs> relax. I know some of us are dyslexic, but it's not black China. It's kind of black. Okay, we don't have that. We don't have that. We do not. We do not know each other. Well, we're gonna have fun with that series, man. And the first one we're gonna get down to is some business as to what we need for this team after we uh, finish with free agency and all of that. So we had fun last year, and uh, we're gonna do it again this year. Big Al, I'm the yeah. office coordinator, right? I'm the office coordinator. Yeah, Big Al's office coordinator. Trey Z is the defense coordinator. And hey, how did you do uh, last year, Mr. Yeah, offensive yeah. Coordinator? Huh? You want to hey, man? I had the enemy, man. I, I didn't do as well as I thought I could do. <laughs> <laughs> you got fired. <laughs> I got fired. <laughs> They fired everybody. But everybody got fired. So. Yeah. <laughs> Tracy got that fired is, during the season. During the season. Yeah, say, you got fired during the season. And listen, and I was rooting for myself. Like, fire me. Fire me. <laughs> hey, I will say this, man. The, pick, the picks that we came up with and the free agencies that we drafted balled out. They All balled. Right. So if, if, if they would have just followed us, followed what we told them to do, uh, I believe we'd have had a better season last year, but yeah, we can not the opposite control way. That. <laughs> That's right. So we we got the uh, we got the uh, word that they will be watching this week. This week. So they Penis will is going to be watching, baby. Need. That's right, and you get the information that they need because it seems well. Actually, no, this is a different regime. So this is the first time we're going into the draft with these guys. So it might be different. Yeah. Yeah, they, I tell you one thing, they have real closed mouth. You don't really know what they like and yeah, they don't like. Yeah, they shut the shutters on us, didn't they? Did they, they are not yeah. talking at all. I do know they took um Drake May to uh, to to breakfast and took um JJ McCarthy too. No, and they took JJ to breakfast. They took your boy to dinner. Um, the one yeah. for LSU. Yeah, they took him they to dinner. Up a little bit. Listen, it's lion season. Lion's Don't believe here. what you hear. Don't believe what you see. Nothing means anything. It's a bunch of double negatives going on out there. Yeah, that's so true. So they're saying one thing and they're meaning another. So don't get caught up in that mess that's going on. Listen to us. Listen to the show coming on. Listen to me. That's right. <laughs> the guy, the <laughs> offensive coordinator. Offensive coordinator. Himself. Kingsbury. Yeah, hey, it just is like, like a know, cereal. Uh, scouts, uh, 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 Biggie Steve from the streets, uh, street scout from and, the streets, uh, Ross Jim Life in the Those gym. Are scouts this year. So they'll be on the second and third show. Yes, so it's gonna be uh, scouts. Yeah, we, we, we never had no scouts before, so it's gonna be yeah. a little different. <laughs> you had to wrangle them in, make sure they don't get out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be get out of pocket. Yeah, yeah getting out so, of pocket. Listen, wrong, getting out of pocket. It's off season, baby. Off season. Yeah, true that. True that. And listen, it would have been really out of pocket if we had uh, uh, Will come in here. Oh, hey man, we gotta get Walt on, man. What about yeah, me, Walt? Walt. Yeah, Walt. 
The yeah. Big Walton here would have been wild. Big I thought Walt did the, I thought Walt did the show last year. No, nah, Walt didn't do it last year. Okay. Walt always comes on, though. Yeah, he comes so on. He always yeah. comes on, livens it up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send, yeah. I'm gonna send him an e right, man. Make sure he know when we're doing it. So yeah, no, no, get an opportunity, man. Uh, the, the third show, the show before the draft, is going to be live. We're going to do that live. The draft is going to be live. So uh, everybody in the comments who comes on can uh, comment and uh, be a comment scout. How about that? A scout in the comments. Yeah. Scout the All y'all Kool-Aid fans need to come on, baby. All y'all Kool-Aid fans need to come on. So listen, J.J. McCarthy has risen up the board a lot. There's no way we're picking him at number two. Am I correct about that? There's no way. Nope. They're going to pick him at number two. Uh, hey, man. I'm, right, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. Hey, 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 Deacon. Don't be, don't be Deacon. I heard mean. he's a great interview, Deacon. He's a great I'm gonna interview. Can he read a defense? That's all I'm 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 gonna gonna get about. Paid, man. Be ready. Don't tell me. Don't tell Deacon, they me. Don't tell they me. like him. Be ready, folks. Be ready, he's folks. A, Listen, I'm not, I'm not voting for somebody I can have a beer with. I want somebody who can run my team. They don't. They don't see it that way, Deacon. Yes, when you do. when you in leadership, Deacon, you want to work with somebody that you like. That's just I'm how the head coach, big Al. I'm telling you, we're not getting JJ McCarthy. Don't. Yeah, I know you're the offense coordinator and you want that quarterback, but that's not the one you're gonna get. I like you. Drake May. I like to do the break the barn down. You I like to do the <laughs> side of the barn. Yeah, I like Drake May. <laughs> hey, Trey, did you see that? Were you ever see that? I know you was on nah. vacation. No, that Drake happened? May threw an out pattern that hit the side of the building. That just went boom. Man, <laughs> Joker, he got a strong arm. Deep. Hey, Trey, the was, man's arm was like, like sideline. It was like a, it was like ten yards to the uh to the guard as far as from sideline. Man, <laughs> Joy. So the player, I, I wasn't seen that that bad. Man, he put a dent in the wall. Sounds like what? <laughs> That's it sounds like us. <laughs> <laughs> so like us, baby. I'm telling you, yeah, so, who is not going to be? I tell you, it's not going to be Jaden Daniels. I tell y'all that mm -hmm. right now. I look you all who is watching, all nine of y'all. It ain't going to be Jaden Daniels. It's going to be Drake May or JJ. My word is bond. I'm telling you. I know this. I, I got the vibe. I've been doing this too long. I've been around. These guys know, and they just like to. I like that because they give me hope. They like, no, they're going to get it right. <laughs> they're gonna go Amen. conservative. They're gonna go Washington. They're gonna go. Let's. We want to build this quarterback. We want to. We want him to be our quarterback for years to come. And he's going to be a a Manning. He's going to be a Breeze. He's going to be the, these these perennial Bledsoe's. Even the Bledsoe, because I didn't say Brady, because I know he none of them Bama's gonna be a Brady. But my point is. That's what they want, and they want that in Washington, and that's who it is. And it's not, and not, not, not that I don't understand what they're saying. It's not a Daniel, and it for sure is not. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Nail polish. Oh, nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he will not be. A that Bama like that. was on the video. He he was. It don't matter, but he was holding that that phone and dancing. Did you see that? He was. He was. Yeah. Hey, that's that's hey, thought hey, I know. He was. was hey, real? Al. He was. was that real? He was promoting. Yes, he was. No, he was promoting. That's what Deacon want to say. That's what you want to say. He was promoting. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, come on, man, come on. It's all man. advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> We love the LGBT. Hey, man, hey, leave that really? Gen Wise alone. Hey, hey, Trey, leave the Gen Wise alone. There's a day different generation, hey, homie. Hey, man, more power Gen, to Gen Wise alone. More power to him. Hey, wait, no, hold on, hold on. I was at CVS. My daughter got some uh, glitter number two. It's on sale. I'm just shouting out to my man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they they compare uh, Drake May to the one and only. The man himself, the myth, the legend, Carson Wentz. That's it. That's, that's what they're comparing him to. Good and the bad Carson Wentz. So is that what you that's what you picking at number two? 
That's what you compare him to. You know, I'm a two two. I don't compare him to. I compare him to uh, Allen. I compare him to. Gosh, Allen ain't been to the Super Bowl either. I compare I compare him to those guys. That's what I compare him to. And JJ McCartney compared yeah. to Mac and Cheese. I compare yeah. him to yeah. Pretty, the Pretty yeah. and Mac and Cheese. Right, let, let's let's not let's not book who uh, who uh, Carson Wentz because he was before he got hurt. He was the MVP candidate of that. He season. was. So he, he was, was dropping dimes back then. Yeah, he was. But, uh, he had a crazy he, strong arm, and he had a, he was a big guy. He was real big. And who's that look like? It looks like Drake May. <laughs> it also looks like Rick. It looks like JJ too. JJ, JJ is six four. JJ is six four, man. JJ is he's six four and he's two ten now. He's a statue he's in the pocket. You would need to get your offensive line right, but he has all the things y'all just said, which is why I know who is not. I just said I know who's not. I'm going to say it again. I know who is not going to be in Washington. I told you who's going to be in Washington. So I just need y'all to be ready because when everybody's watching be, the show, it may, it may be fingernail polish. It may be fingernail polish. It may be him. It's not going to be fingernail polish. And, and, and I don't necessarily know I want it to be because his only issue would be because I saw his, you know, his, um, what do you call it? Pro Day. Pro yeah, Day. Pro Day. I wasn't impressed, man. I mean, I'm not. I'm, yeah, he didn't do too much. He could have had on a a, a a cashmere cape, and I would have. And if he was zipping them in there, I'd have been like, all right, all right. But that dude was. He wasn't really doing what I. Yeah, on the, the real though, underneath what he had on. On on the real, I know y'all don't, don't like this, but JJ McCarthy, Matt Jones, don't like it. Or don't like pretty, it. he had a pretty good pro day, man. If you watched don't it. Like it. Listen, was nice. now, now, yeah. now you want to talk about underwear Olympic big ass? Come on, you, 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 <laughs> this is the point of not not liking uh, like underwear hey, Olympic. You know? Hey, listen, I'm, 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 he's just again. I'm glad Alice prepared himself. I hope that you are in therapy, Mister Deacon, I will not. And getting yourself I will together. Not. Hey, yeah, look, Deacon, get mad, get the cussing. Al, Al, get the cussing. Al, he, he in there, man. He got the little uh, Japanese uh, sand garden right now because he's talking all slow on the mic. No. <laughs> He, he's drawing <laughs> footballs in the sand. He's a whole new dude, man. I'm going to pull the plug on his mic, man. This, this, this is not <laughs> black and white. I'm about to take this air <laughs> quick, This is driving me crazy. Hey, hey, hey Trey, it sound like Deacon massaging your shoulders. Talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I put up, man. You see what I put up with, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, let me ask you. Let me ask you. What, what, what y'all? <laughs> what do y'all think about um, Daniels coming in at two ten? Was that enough for you? For me, it was. I mean, that's a normal quarterback size. Two ten to two twenty. Six four. Six four two ten. Six four. Well, you know what. You know what? I'm going I'm to I'm go with Al because I don't know if you remember the, the Tyson Holyfield fight. I remember Holyfield weighed in at 205 or 210, and that Bama looked like he was Hercules, like he right. was Terry Crews. So if that that 205 you talk about, and he's 6'4. So if that's the 205 you talk about, then yeah. But uh, well, when I saw him still standing like, there, yeah, well, I saw he looked solid. I mean, yeah, I mean, he, it looked like he has, he, he, he his looked shoulders skinny. are not big. Yeah, he didn't look skinny. Yeah, but he, he looked didn't solid. Look he looked solid. Yeah, I think uh -huh. that, I think all that is made up stuff, man. I think he did get. Now, if you watch the highlights, Deacon, he did get crushed a couple times, though. If you watch the highlights, no, no, listen, he is susceptible to getting popped. Pop, that's for sure. Yeah, he and has he RG three moments. Hey, listen, hey, listen, listen. As we say, spice up the show. Spice comes up. Oh, oh, there you go. Talking about you, man. Yeah, we uh, we talking oh, about you, dog. What's up, baby? Yeah. Yo, hey, hey. Yo. Let me let me talk about you. Let me take this out and I'll get Walt on. Um, for those people who for those people who think that um two ten six four is skinny. I didn't hear anybody talking about 6'6", 6, 6, 220. That's just a skin. 
That's just a smoke. And you know who's 6'6", 220? The boy down in Jacksonville. Nobody was talking about his weight at the time. You can't tell me that uh, two more inches and, and 10 pounds makes a difference. So no, that's, it's just that's the two, two more inches. It's the two, two more, more inches, inches than 10 pounds. It's, that's it's, only 10 it's, pounds. it's never been about, no, but I'm just saying, it's never been about, about height. Yeah, but that's why he wasn't talked about. Because uh -huh. it's always been about seeing over them big linemen, man. Because you get a lineman, man, six four, six five, three something. That's what that's why your boy was having so much problem, man. Heineke could not, yeah. and I'm not saying Heineke will I'm ever be a piece, but he couldn't see over the line, man. The Bama was throwing over a fence. It's like lining up behind the wooden fence, you know, in the yard. And you mm -hmm. over there talking about some high height, and I'm over there running patterns mm -hmm. in the other yard. And you, no. you gotta like figure out where I'm supposed to be. But that's what he was doing, yeah. man. He was he was a hobbit. He could not no. be over those dudes, man. And then the next year when we got the boy um North Carolina, um how, how, how made a splash. How, how how he was only like what a half an inch or an inch taller? <laughs> So, but he was, but that mattered. It mattered though. It mattered. It mattered though. It mattered. He made a little bit more efficient. And so now you're talking about dude six four. Oh man, that dude is looking down. Him, Cam Newton, and all those guys, they looking downfield. They could see what's good, and, and, and they could do what they so do. So that's what's up. You all right with the weight then? Yeah, I'm cool. Hey, Biggie, the, 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 the niggas man. in the chat, the Biggie, if you want to come on, man. Well, what you got, baby? Well, uh, after listening to um, you guys talk about JJ, which I don't think he's number two. He's not going to be picked number two. Um, I think they're going to look at this. I think it's going to be Drake May. And I think the only reason why they would pick JJ is if they um, if the scenario is that they uh, um trade down and trade back and that pick would then go to uh they would only trade back to either arizona or the patriots they're not going to trade all the way out of the top four they're not doing that so i see it that way also also for me after looking at everything and getting my feel it's really up to what caleb does if Caleb is available at two, he's going to be with us. He's going to be a commander mm -hmm. if Caleb is available at two. Oh, no doubt. So, so with that in mind, and he's going to be available at two, with that in mind, the only thing that happens is if anybody gets hurt, that messes everything up. So with the whole month left, before we pick anybody, I'm just going to wait and see because that's what the problem is. You're going to find out like we do every year. He's got a, this guy's got an Achilles strain or Jay Daniels had an elbow, elbow, um, men, uh, sensitivity or something. You're going to find somebody, somebody's draft stock drops because of an injury. We do it every year. We're going to hear it every year and it's going to happen this year. So. Hold on. You did not fall for the banana in the tailpipe, did you? No, 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 no. I'm not. No, I'm no, no, no. I'm saying that it happens every year. So I don't want to just jump out in front of it. I want to be behind, behind it without the anticipation because we don't. We see these guys now, but thirty days from now, something can happen. So it will change their draft stock, and it'll change our. It'll change what we what we will select based on that number one pick. If yeah, they yeah. do not pick Caleb, everything changes. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, he's and then, of player. course, Minnesota, and I've said this from the beginning, Minnesota wants to get in the top four. They don't care if it's Arizona, Patriots. If they can't get, if they can't get the number one, they want top four because I believe Minnesota wants JJ. Well, they can have Coffee? Nick JJ. Yeah, he's from that Kirk Cousins group. You know, he's got that Kirk Cousins flavor to him. And that fits their scheme. And that's how their coach looks at it. It's like this can fit. 
Nah, man. Mm-hmm. Look, Harbaugh, if he was Kirk Cousins, Harbaugh would have threw more passes. I watched uh, Michigan games this year. Harbaugh had luck. Everybody don't forget that Harbaugh had luck. He threw every down when he was at Stanford. Why was he not throwing uh, J.J. every down if J.J. was that good? Who was he throwing to? J.J. had good receivers, man. He has a, JJ What's their had, name? Huh? No, he had a good running back. J.J. Yeah. had a good I, running he back. He was getting ready. He, he, he was getting ready to make my point. He was I'm getting ready to make my point. If you don't know who the receivers are from Michigan, they weren't that good. Yeah, okay, but the thing is, though, okay, then they were good, receiver? but they weren't that who's good. Not, you get what I'm was, saying? Okay. Oh, okay, this is this was Michigan's was game right here. Michigan's Michigan's. Hold up, hold up, Biggie. Okay, who was Lux receivers? Nobody knows that. Who who was Stanford's receivers back then? Oh, that's a hard one, Biggie. That's like ten years ago. They were yeah, bombs. That's... A dub. They was bums. They were bums. I I, I get your point. What, what I get your point. Is, I get your point. Is, but Michigan had a uh, had a very high ranked defense. Michigan had a very high ranked defense. So you play again complimentary football. I you, they, I'm not saying that JJ's not good. I seen JJ. Right, right, right. His, yeah. his JJ is more of a pro because JJ comes from a pro um, coaching staff. The coaching staff was pro coaching staff. That's the why all the pros that the stat they like him because. But there's a mm-hmm. reason why the Harbaugh didn't throw, and the reason why is that JJ's inconsistent. He's very he inconsistent. And okay. he you know he's what? more like Matt Jones. He's more like Matt Jones. He is. I he's wouldn't even give him. Put it this way. I wouldn't even give him Matt Jones. You know how the whole <laughs> Michigan, <laughs> the whole oh, Michigan offense was set up. The whole Michigan set well, I mean, the whole Michigan offense was, I mean, whole setup Michigan period was set up almost like Baltimore. I consider I consider uh what's his name? JJ to be more like Flacco. He's safe. You're not gonna he's okay. not gonna okay. he's not gonna, okay. you know what I'm saying? He's not gonna mm-hmm. sit there, he's not gonna lose you the game, but he'll he'll set you up to put you in a position to win. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that that's where the Harbaugh family kind of like they, they get their whole regime from because they, they always go with that safe quarterback that's not gonna jeopardize, you know what I'm saying, the game for them. When you need that throw, they'll get you that throw. When you need that run, they'll get and they always have the great defense, just like Michigan had. So everything was almost almost like just like the whole Baltimore when Ray Lewis, Joe Flacco went ahead and won that Super Bowl. That's how I see that's how I see JJ more of a Flacco. He'll put it on the numbers. He'll put a, he'll put you on the numbers, you know what I'm saying? But he's not gonna take over the game for you. He's that not gonna sounds- put you on he's not gonna put you on his he's not gonna put you on his backpack and be like, let's go. Doesn't that sound like Kirk Cousins? You want somebody to put you in the backpack? Yeah, he wants you to put you in the backpack. But not everybody could be a backpack person. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't that sound like Kirk Cousins? Number two pick. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Everybody, everybody, chill out. Everybody, hold up. Okay, but doesn't that sound like Kirk Cousins? Yeah, Kirk Cousins is not a backpack person, but he can get you the throws that you need when we already saw that. He can only go but so far when he he was in Minnesota with Stephon Diggs. And right there, they should have won it. But he's not the backpack person. There's only the only backpack people out there is basically Aaron Rodgers, Mah- uh, Mahomes. Uh, you could get uh, what's his name, Joe Burrows, and um, what's my and my guy's name, um, and Josh, Josh Allen. Allen. And Josh yeah. Allen. Those are backpack players. And that's Those are people. Team. The boy in North Carolina is a backpack he, player. He he's, a back play, he's a backpack player, but Ooh. he's not he's not polished yet. He needs about two to three years to sit. Okay, but you he's know still what a saying? backpack player, though. Yeah, but, look, but, look, but, look, but look, and, and what I want to tell oh, people no. is this is a big thing, and a lot of people are not getting that. Um, we we're not set up to uh, to have to sit there and wait two to three years for a player because a lot of these contracts that we got are going especially defense is only one or two year deals so why are we sitting here and i'm and i'm i'm sitting here just like how espn and like yeah let's have we can't do that because a lot of these players again are one two year deals and we need a quarterback that's going to step in right away and only people i see that that's going to step in is either caleb or J, uh, or um or Jaden. or uh, yeah, not you know what I'm saying? about right now and right now that's, that's the nobody. only people and that's the only people that's gonna. That's the only people right now that I feel comfortable going into game week one, holding that rock, 
because I'm going to tell you right now, um, Drake May ain't going to do it for you, and, J and McCarthy's not going to do it for you. Daniels will get you there. He might be a little rough. It might take him a few games to kind of get to speed, but he's ready to go at number one. I mean, day one. So is Caleb. That's another person. But other than that, I don't know why we're talking about, about other quarterbacks. Penix? What about Penix? Everybody, hold on a second. Hold Penix, hold Penix, on. Penix, Penix, one. Penix, yeah. Y'all can't hear me? Hold on. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Dick. I'm no, sorry. You heard a lot of whispering. And, and soft Shut up, stuff. man. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we hear you. We hear you, brother love. We hear you, brother love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying to pass Trey the mic. He's not getting on me, man. Hey, Trey, <laughs> Trey the car, man. His mic's kind of low, so uh, y'all got y'all got the boom mics working. So what, what you got to say, Trey? You try to cut it back there. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, let me let me jump in to just say. I get I I'm with Biggie Steve. I think if we're going to, we don't have the time. This is not a we are rebuilding, but we, we want to make any splash, forget anybody to want to be here and join the organization to be a part of this franchise. Not da, 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 da. we need to do something now. But I noticed that yeah. everybody got on here and everybody's not talking about the people that are gonna do it. If you notice that, that that's <laughs> what I'm saying to you. We talking about yeah. people we gonna get. We're gonna get one of the Bamas that ain't gonna do it for us. That's gonna have us in purgatory, and we could have anybody. If a Kirk Cousins type quarterback comes to Washington, that's purgatory. Y'all do know, right? That. Right. That's why I don't. That's why I don't see it. Before, stop it. Now that's yeah. what we feel a certain way about the organization. If they put us back in purgatory, if not, then I'm back on the bandwagon. And when I say bandwagon, I'm talking. Playoffs. I'm not talking Super Bowl. I'm talking playoffs. Playoffs, <laughs> baby. Playoffs. But that's what I'm trying to get to. But right now, I'm waiting to see because I'm hearing too many stuff and I'm seeing too much conversation talk about these other guys. Why are we talking about other guys? I'm telling you, as soon as that first draft pick is done, somebody from the Washington organization needs to be in a three-point stance, running to the mic to give our pick that we know who yeah. we want. And that should be and that should be that should be Daniels, because we're not getting Caleb. We're not getting Caleb. We need to get Daniels because Daniels is ready to go week one. And that defense that we got right now is it could be a top fifteen defense, because I'm gonna tell you right now we didn't get what's his name from Seattle. Y'all, you know what I'm saying to go on a one year deal just for him to not make the to sit on the bench. You know I'm saying to have the quarterback sitting on the bench. These guys, we got Chin, we got what's his name from Seattle, we got my guy um Frankie Louvu. We got those players right now to come and win now. That's what they're coming in with with a win mentality. So they're not gonna sit there and be like, oh, we're gonna wait on the quarterback and we got what's his name um. Their, what's our our backup? The backup quarterback, um, my yeah, guy, yeah. Uh, uh, whatever. Yeah, to sit there and not they didn't sign up for that. They signed up thinking that we're going to get a day one prospect quarterback that has the potential to at least make the playoffs. To uh, at let, least let me, make the playoffs. Yeah, let, let, from, let, the let, 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 from the street. From the street. Biggie. From the street. And that's what the streets are talking about. They don't want that. <laughs> they don't want that. Hey, they like it. If that's the case, you might as well bring back um, you might as well bring Rob Rivera back. No, stop it. All right, because that's not like a Rob Rivera move. Let's, 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 let's go with this comment here, man. Garage Gym Life, remember the, the links in the chat, brother, if you had time to come on. But it says Drake May will put us in purgatory at 10 or 15, picking at 10 or 15. At and that is the truth. That's where we don't want to be. We was there for four years, got nothing for it. And we're trying to get out of that. So we are going to shoot for the moon, gentlemen. Shoot for the moon. Yeah, I, I can't. I can put the edits in that tray. So you ain't, you ain't get that. <laughs> hey, my, I do have a question, too. My three fans, they know what I said. <laughs> I do have a question, too. With these picks that they got at cornerback, do you see them? Do you see them moving on from like a St. Juice? Or, or Forbes. Not not this not not, the, not this season. Nah, not this season. Not this season. They're gonna see what they can get from the yeah. Saint, yeah, Saint Jude's got one more year to prove itself. Uh, I think Forbes has a couple more years just because he was the number one pick. You can't just throw that away. 
Yeah. But we don't have much. Quan Martin, I think, is going to be more of a safety uh, in the box kind of guy. I don't think he's going to be uh, check corner. Right. But they, they really, they that, really, they it seems like they the really game. brought in guys that are starters and they're letting the guys that were Teacher. the starters last year be backups. That's what yeah. I'm seeing. I don't, yeah. are you guys seeing the same thing yeah. or? Yeah, no, no. They brought in teachers to teach these guys how to play, but we didn't bring in a cornerback. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I think and I think they're gonna address that. They're gonna address that in front uh, what's that called? They might do something right before the draft or during the draft, and they probably end up picking up somebody up in the um in the draft. Cause you know, there's still some there's still some uh, people out there in free agency left. There, there's some out there, but it's 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 not like a it's a quality amount of people out there. It's Big Al, what does our what does our you're the one that's on top of that, but what does our cap look like right now? Well, right oh, now, we're still looking good. We're number one. Yeah, we still like thirty to forty million dollars that we have. Okay. Everybody, welcome to our gym life in the house. Yeah. What's up, baby? Hey, what's I up? Do. What's up, y'all? I was busy, but then I heard y'all arguing, and of course, I love like other people's pain. So I said, "All right." Uh, I disagree with people. I don't even need to know what we argue about. I just, I just think, let's see. Nah, we, that's toe. just how I we disagree do. with everybody in the corners. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, you see the question? Got, that includes me, right? Yeah, like you in the corner. Now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey Garage, I got a question for you though. What's up? As a as a manager, you own your own business. <laughs> Do you would you rather work with somebody that you can get along with that you can communicate with, or would you rather work with somebody that's a great talent? Um, well, the problem with that is that that's not a if it's not like a, 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 a either or proposition because if you're saying. somebody who I can't get along with, you're not gonna make it past the interview. Okay, there you go. I won't. Even, I'll never even find out if you. Now, I might find out if you're talented by looking at your resume. Right there, you go. But you're not gonna make it past the interview if I can't communicate with you because when I have an issue, in and we need to correct it, I already know that you're gonna be hard to deal with. I, there you go. There you go. I raised my. Yeah, but we can't say Jay and Dan is hard Frank to get. Jay, Jake May. There's the question. We can't, but we can't say, but we can't say Jaden. We can't say Jaden Daniels. But I didn't say to get along with though. But here, but here's the problem. The the problem is that you we're assuming in that same scenario, we're comparing somebody who is essentially um, a sophomore in college, but I can get along with him, to somebody who is a trained professional ready to start on day one, and. You're, we're assuming that I can't get along with him. I don't think that I can't get along with him. It's just that uh, Drake May hasn't had as much time to develop himself in his craft. So, of course, Jaden Daniels is going to have more of an opinion about what his capabilities are because he's he's older, more trained. That's true. That doesn't I mean I can't so. get along with you. It just means you I know what you can do a little bit more because you're closer to being a grown man. Right. I, I, I by, that, really by that standard. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna put this out there. I'm just gonna put this out there. And I'm gonna let y'all go with this. Um, <laughs> I just Drake got here. May, what do you mean you gonna let us? No, no, go? no, not go like we all. I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all roll with it. Oh, okay. Drake May. Just <laughs> remember, he could not beat out Sam Howe at North Carolina. He took a red shirt because Sam Howe was there. Okay, he did. He didn't compete. He took a red shirt. Okay. He didn't get on the field until after Sam Howe was gone. Now, with Sam Howe, what was our problem with Sam Howe? Okay. Eric B. Enemy. Part of it was his, part of it was his height. Okay. Yeah, but part of it was that he was not reading the defenses properly. Remember right, Big Al? Big Al yeah. said he wasn't reading, can't read defense. That's true. So coming out of North Carolina, are his we his feet happy? were bad too? His feet wasn't the are, best. Are we happy with North Carolina quarterbacks being able to read NFL defense? I'm glad y'all go. I'm just saying. I don't. Like, I don't it, it sound like you yeah. uh, draft, like you trying to draft the helmet, not the player. Right. But I don't think it's the quarterback. Mm -hmm. I think it's more. I think it's more of the actual coaches. You know, what I'm saying I don't yeah. think they're. I don't think they're talented enough to like to help their quarterback get to the next level. Okay. I mean, I mean they they're good at what they do. They can bring a quarterback in, and but they I don't think they they they're not like 
LSU's or coaches or Alabama's where they can, you know what I'm saying, get the best out of Ohio State to get the best out of their, their quarterbacks. Well, get a pop step where they by, need to be. Do by that know, standard, then we should be drafting Bo Nix. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. No, I'm saying by that standard, we should be drafting Bo Nix. I don't agree with that, but that's by the standard. If we're I just going to say that we're he's prepared to play, the dude's been playing since he was not 18. Now he's 25. He's yeah. prepared to play. But don't get me I don't. I like Bo Nix though. I like Bo Nix. Bo Nix. Hold on, hold on. But he's not my first choice. Just one point. My only oh, hey. thing is that we've talked about the issues we had with Sam Howell last year, and we can talk about issues we've had with all the quarterbacks going back to uh, I don't know, uh, Kirk Cousins or or whoever, right? Or Rex can, Grossman. The we all here. That we can is, go way back. But the problem with, with the problem with that approach is none of the coaches who coached anybody that you name that we had problems with is currently on our staff. So we need to evaluate what is possible with the quarterback we're going to get by looking at the coaches who are on our staff and seeing what they did with quarterbacks who they had in the past. Because we got a whole new staff. We do we have a whole new. I mean, Jake Fromm is, you know, is coming back, but I'm not sure what sort of input he's going to have. The emergency I mean, quarterback. Like that. I, don't, I don't think he's coming back. I don't think. I think they're going to draft somebody late. They said they're gonna draft two more. We get they said they're gonna go into camp with four quarterbacks. Joe and I'm I'm ready. I'm I love Georgia Bulldogs, but I'm ready to let Jake Fromm go. I'm ready to let I mean look, look, man. You see that? Okay. But that's more important to me. That right there. Okay. Come on, Joe. That's that's all there is to it. So I just say for me, we can't we keep on and I, I always hear people do this. We keep on evaluating our current coaching staff based upon our last coaching staff. And if we Fair. did that, Joe Gibbs would never have been given a chance to succeed because we'd have been evaluating them based upon what we had before he got to our team. And we, can't, we can't do that. So Joe I'm Powell saying, what do we think Cliff Clint Kingsbury and Brian Johnson are going to be able to do, and, and uh, what's his name, David Blau, are going to be able to do with whoever we bring in that matters to me like and i say cliff kingsbury has shown that he can get results out of a mobile quarterback and i think that the discipline issues will be taken care of by dan quinn and brian johnson does that make sense that makes sense, makes sense. And, and and all this is projection anyway we all projecting uh, all this is a college to the NFL because yeah, yeah. there's there's no um, real way that, to know whether somebody's going to succeed at the next level. You have a lot of guys who you you think uh, uh, are easy translation into the next level and they don't work. You know, okay, that's like a running back. You think a running back position that, that's easy, but it's not. It doesn't always translate. Your skill level kind of flattens out sometimes, but. That's, that's a little bit from one of our uh, scouts that are going to be in uh, two weeks from now, and then three weeks from now, giving us the rundown on what we should be picking. Um, but for real, the, the let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Don't ask no mm-hmm. questions. I'm about to go, fellas. Before yeah, you ask quick. questions, man, because this dude right here is going to keep talking, man, because you got that mic. Hey, man, garage, you got a brand new mic, man, or give me one or something, because this dude is in my ear. I got to go, fellas. Hey, last, hey last I'm trying to get me. you on my show, Tracy. Yeah, you hey, hey, he, he, he ain't trying to get party I morning. promise you, I'm not. I just been. <laughs> He's on the show watching. So I'm like, he on watching the show. You might as well get hey. up and talk. Right, you're right. You're right. I, you I'm can promote your show on my show. I don't. That's Look, fine by me. I, no need, man. I'm just telling you, I will be on the next joint. It's just early, man. You early. <laughs> you up watching it. So you I are know. up. He ain't got no, he got no clothes on. <laughs> Ooh, nah, we, can't. we got a family show. I can't. Right. I can't. Yeah, do that. right. right. I, can't. I wouldn't want you to make nobody. You're going to make me pivot. Hey, look, <laughs> pivot our audience if we did that. I can't I, do I, that. I, hey, look. I, I paint all my mirrors black. So, you know, I understand. Whoa. But, it, <laughs> but anyway, right. listen, I got to go, fellas, man. Y'all y'all be easy, man. Appreciate you. Jump the ride. Man. Good to my see you, Big Craig. Y'all brothers be it on there, man. I got to get back to family, man. Y'all keep it going. I'm going to keep listening. All right. All right, dude. All right. And uh, the blade is gone. 
So he's going back to, you know, get himself together again. Listen, hey, Dom, we, though, I'm going to ask you the same question, though. What do you feel about your quarterback getting along with the general manager and the head coach and the offensive coordinator and how important think, that is? I think it's extremely important because we watch the success of it. When it doesn't happen and when it does happen. When it does happen, we have a Kirk Cousins run where we actually won nine games. When it doesn't happen, we have a three and 13 season, which we've seen, which was the year that RG3 hurt his leg and then nobody got along and then we balanced out again. So we have recent history that we can go from that we can say this didn't work. Also with Dwayne Haskins. So again, we can see when it doesn't work, when they don't believe. It just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So they need to be able to get along and communicate. And he needs to be able to say, that's why That's why John Elway was able to go to Super Bowls because he got along with his quarterback. He got along with his coach. That's why he was able to win Super Bowls. Tom so Brady got, got along in. with Kraft. He got along but, with Kraft. All right, so let me ask a, a question because I, I came in when y'all were already arguing. So forgive my... We don't opinion. argue all day. <laughs> well... And I don't remember what part of the argument. <laughs> all right. So all, all I'm saying is, is there some doubt, realistically, is there some doubt that the current staff is about to draft somebody that they don't get along with? Okay. No. So, J no. Jayden, no. 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 We don't know. Hey, Garage Life, we don't know. We do know Jaden Daniels is a quiet guy at LSU. He's a quiet, he's a naturally quiet guy. He's not outgoing. He's not um, he doesn't sell himself the way that J.J. McCaffrey and the way that the guy from North Carolina sells them. They can sell themselves. They can go in a meeting and talk to talk and sell, especially J.J. McCaffrey can sell yeah, but, himself. But how do we know that? We, yeah, you know, that, film don't lie. Know, how do we know that? TV. How we know that is not because, Film don't lie. No, we know, they, we know they, that they can, we, they can sell themselves on TV and very flamboyant or whatever. We don't know how Jaden Daniel actually – we kind of do know well how Jaden Daniels is when he's in a one on one setting. We don't because we don't. I watched his interview on the pivot. Yeah, yeah. I have to. I did. I did. I did. So, so, I think yeah, you might have to check that out. He seemed like he was, I, I oh, yeah. He I seemed to me projected. like he was able to, I mean, he seemed to me like he's able to establish rapport with the people there. And yeah. to be honest with you, the whole rah like he, thing, I mean, he, uh, I heard B. Mitch say on the radio, uh, he said, to be honest with you, a quarterback ain't really talking to the rest of the team during the game anyway. He's only talking to his quarterback's coach to be honest, most of the time. And that's then in the, the huddle, all he's doing is spitting out the play, like, hey, let's go. So yeah, that, that's the point. And not, the point. On, and not only that, though, I think it's, it's going to take time. You know what I'm saying? Everything comes with time, though. Once, he's, once he starts feeling comfortable around his team, mm -hmm. and to me, I mean, everything is just basically going to start coming out. Right now, yeah. he's still young. I mean, he's. You know, he's he he's just won the Heisman. He's, he's now getting the attention that he's he, he young he, compared to us. He ain't young. Everybody young compared to us. He old as hell. That's right. No, no, I'm talking about I'm talking about as in an NFL perspective. Like he's young going into the NFL. Right. Once he starts dealing with real professionalism, it's gonna come. I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna we have said the same thing about Haskins, though. We said the same thing about Haskins. Haskins but, is immature. I don't think Jaden Daniels is immature. Yeah, yeah. Haskins, you know, was right. you know Haskins was immature. Right. Too. He, he started okay, look, playing look, the NFL. Mature, yeah. mature people don't have parties with strippers in the middle of COVID when exactly. your head coach is recovering from cancer. <laughs> and, and what time what was Haskins? No, because you say to yourself, hey, this is not a good idea. But Haskins was what 19? You know, we're talking about maturity. No, he wasn't, he was 21, 22. 21, mm -hmm. still young though, but he's 12. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like he was, he was the, he was, he's making 21 year old decisions. Exactly. Correct. Right. Correct. So Correct. I'm not knocking, you know, knocking him for what I'm just saying that you can't say that he's not, in, that he was immature or maybe not immature compared to Jaden Daniels. I'm saying Jaden Daniels has already been through tragedy that we know of and has managed to come out of it. And not only came out of it still able to play and compete and perform, and he's not paying his, he his nails. selected. Well, he selected a harder conference and and uh, said, "Hey, I want the bigger spotlight. I yeah. want the bigger spotlight yeah. because yeah. I feel like I can compete there." And then he went and he he proved it. He mm -hmm. could have stayed in the comfort zone with Herm Edwards and everything, and he said, "No, nah, I'm gonna go to where the the lights are brighter because I feel that I can do." well at on that stage so that's three things right there so again the whole tragedy thing you can get that if you watch the interview on, on a pivot they talk about 
the loss he had with his dad and all that. So you can see that he performed well despite losing his dad. You know what I mean? And so exactly. I feel like we've seen how he handles adversity. Also, Dwayne Haskins, in his defense, had not had as much time as a quarterback as Jaden Daniels. Did. So we can't true. even compare Dwayne Haskins to Jaden Daniels because you're comparing two dudes who have completely different backgrounds. Not a, the comparison is, is not getting along with your – no, the comparison is not getting along with your coaching staff. That's what I was saying is when you have a disconnect – uh, it yeah. doesn't go well. That's what I was saying. It was a disconnect between um, Haskins and the coaching staff. And you right. need that to be con congruent. And that needs to be a togetherness. And there wasn't. You're right. You know what? I'll say that. That was the owner's problem. He he wanted. Uh, but you know what? But think about it like this. But Jay, but Jay um, Gruden. Anytime you get you draft a quarterback at number one and you uh, have him practicing with third team and playing defense, you, you're really not setting him up to win. So that, that, that is true. You got to have somebody that you are willing. And, and Jaden Daniels says that in his interview. When he want, he's drafted, he doesn't care who drafts him. He cares about somebody who drafts him that is ready to invest in him. Exactly. You know, in, in every Which way. You know? Which so is that, that's, that's, that's a really like, Why are you going to draft me if you don't believe in me? Drake, man, right. you're not willing to spend the time there. Here's why, and, 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 and uh, okay, so we don't know. There's a whole bunch of miscommunication out there right now. The word, but the the miscommunications out there that that Peters has been a Drake May fan for years. That's the the miss, that, and that could be wrong. That could be a lie. So why I don't know. But that could be wrong. That because could be a lie, people got to right? have something to talk about, right? So it could be a lie. <laughs> so that's the issue. That's, what we, huh? that's the issue. You got a game win, man. You got to. Yeah. Though anybody could like somebody, but a simple fact is yeah. what's gonna. It's what's gonna get. It's gonna be like what's gonna get you there. You know what I'm right. saying? What's gonna win games at the end of the day? Right. Well, so, I think I think we we got to go back to the original point of this thing is that. It's lying season. Don't believe you what people are saying and don't believe your eyes. Right. I think Correct. what's throwing people off is that um in their pro day workouts, uh Jaden Daniels and Adam Peters, you know, shook hands or slapped fifth or whatever they did. But at uh, Drake Mays, they were yucking it up. You know what I mean? They were you know, throwing the ball around and yucking it up. Yeah. So it seems they like said, they like one more than the other, but they said Peters Lions actually season, was calling. They said, um, what's the name was calling plays during his pro day. Um, don't believe uh, your coordinator. eyes, don't believe your eyes, don't believe your ears. Uh, Let's get to this thing, man. They look, know they know what they're doing. They throw I mean, off I, 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 like if I want to trick you into believing I like somebody, what's it? Yep. Wait, I hug. Yep. <laughs> you know who exactly. else got a hug? My man from the Godfather. <laughs> all right. See but how you that know, works but out. You know, the reason, you know the reason for all of this, though. Sorry, Sal. Is because we have a, <laughs> the only reason we like this is because we have a capable organization that le that right. leaves no leaks, like prior, past. Correct, you know, correct. Right. And, that's, and that's why everybody, that's why you hear so much commander news is because we're we're not we're not leaving no trail. We're not leaving and anybody. You know what I'm saying? Is just believing what they want to. But at the end of the day, the organization. I got to give them props because, like, nobody knows anything. You would think Schefter would have been the first person. Oh yeah, they're gonna go with that. Schefter. Don't even know where the hell we uh, we're going with it. So when you got when you got when you have a down packed organization that's leaving no breadcrumbs, I love it. Yeah. I love it because it, it, it that that goes to show like. You know, other teams are like, you know what I'm saying, on their toes of what we're going to do. We're going to drive down. Are we going to, you know what I'm saying, are we going to go try to make a move for Caleb? Are we going to stand packed at two? Like, who's our quarterback is going to be? Like, we got mm -hmm. them all on the win. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I, I think what's funny is when they had a – um, the, the, they had the reports. These reports got, got mentioned. They said, I talked to people who know Adam Peters. <laughs> and I think, based upon knowing him, that he's going to do this. And that was a headline. Like, yeah. seriously? So you that's may as well have gone like, uh, to me, that's equivalent of saying, well, I babysat <laughs> Adam Peters' kids. So based <laughs> upon that, <laughs> I'm like, why is this even something to talk about? We don't know. Now, right. I will say that this, one of the other reasons why I lean towards Jaden Daniels um, is because this is, a kind of tone setter year 
Remember they said, you're going to like, the. We, I don't know how many games we're going to win, but you're going to like what you see on the field. And so they yes. know with everything being brand new that this is a tone set a year. We're going to judge them on every other decision they make off of what happens in the draft. Just like we didn't trust them at all, but then we saw what they did in free agency. We said, oh, okay, all right, I'm going to calm down a little bit. Now we're starting to get anxious again because, well, what are they going to do with this next thing? We've got an entire year of figuring out, you know, is this going to work or not? Is this going to be a coach who's going to be with us long, longer than three years before getting fired or whatever? Is he going to be, you know, I mean, is he going to last longer than Terry Rubisky? You know what I mean? I'm like, what? what is – I'm just saying. Well, I'm old too now. You know, I just look yeah. at you. If you understand. Hey, Walt, hey, Walt, we haven't had a chance to ask you this. Uh, Go ahead. And this goes for everybody since we're talking so much about the coaching staff. What do y'all think about the coaching staff that they put together? Because we were all crying, trying to get uh, uh, Brad J- Brian Johnson. Ben John, you don't even remember his name. Look at that. Yeah, you don't remember his name. I was, I was <laughs> concerned until I saw what he was doing behind. I, I was concerned until I saw what he did behind that. Like, didn't Dan Quinn? Well, Dan Quinn was a loser in Atlanta, and his last game, his defense gave up 40 points. So I was like, eh. But then you, you saw the makeup. Is that a loser? I mean, no, 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 no. I said. He ended up losing. I say losing. Yeah. Losing is losing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you look at it and you go, okay, did he learn from his mistakes? Which is what we want all our coaches to do. I screwed up here. This is where I went wrong. So what Dan did is he looked at his weaknesses and he put people in place that handle his weakness. Fair. I agree. I and agree. so when he did that, that made me confident in the coaching staff. Right. And that's how that's how I looked at it. I was confident in coaching staff after I saw, whoa, you know, when he lost, he lost because he wasn't able to run the ball and he didn't do that successfully in the in the Super Bowl. Yeah. I agree. And so, he, yeah, Atlanta, right. he, and so he, put, and so he, he got he got a quarterback. He got a, he got a quarterback coach that says, listen, he got he got he got an offensive coordinator that goes, hmm, I can hear that. He got a, a defensive-minded coach as also an assistant. Mm-hmm. The one that was out in, um, I forgot his name, but he was out in San Diego. But he's known for being very good with the run game. Yeah, yeah. He's known for that. Lynn. Lynn, yeah. And then they got Eckler, who he already worked with, Anthony Lynch. So I'm saying, like, you see the pieces and you go, Okay. Okay. And that's so I got okay with the with what he did because he filled in his weaknesses, unlike our staff from last year, where we were looking at JDR and going, why not get rid of this dude? His defense is garbage. And he hung on to him way longer than any of us would have. I mean, but you see the results when they got rid of him. Right, but I, but, <laughs> but no, 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 but but no, that proves my point. Where we were saying he didn't take his weakness, yeah. and then say, "I got to get a coach that's going to fill that weakness." He yeah, got Ron, a coach. Ron just, didn't, uh, take he got a coach to, uh, just like him. Hey, let's yeah, let's yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's yeah. different. Okay. And that's what I see is different from that coaching staff to this coaching staff. Dan will get somebody that will say, "Nah, Dan, we gonna run this ball." Okay, that's or, the, nah, the, damn, we're going to pass. He got, he got somebody that can challenge him one-on-one and be at equal standing. Hey, I, I got I, just one thing uh, to clear things up. I know everybody's wondering. Um, one question is, uh, hey, Walt, what, what kind of mic do you use? Because you got a dominant mic, dog. Your <laughs> mic comes true <laughs> like no other, man. <laughs> huh? that I'm dog, using man. my phone. <laughs> That's just super loud. It's like you can't hear nothing but big wall, baby. Hey, um, it's my voice. It's my voice. Yeah, yeah. The mic. You already know. You got, you got a voice for singing in the subway. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is uh, uh, to our, our resident. Uh, uh, Thank you, Jim. Trainer. I appreciate you. Our resident trainer, man. Uh, Jaden Daniels weighing in at 210, 6'4", 210. Um, 
How much weight do you think he'll be able to put on? Oh, does he, does he need? Because he looks solid, but does he need to put in a little bit more weight for the NFL uh, program? About ten or? pounds. Yeah, I agree. About ten more. We're, we're talking to the the. the our, 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 I disagree. So for, for me, the the issue isn't um how much weight he can. So in terms of how much weight he can put on, I mean, <laughs> put on all kind of weight. All right. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, somebody who knows what they're doing, get him to two seventy five. But the question is. Can he get how much weight can he put on, still remain effective, mm-hmm. and without altering his his mechanics at the same time? But then the other side of it is how much weight does he need to put on in order to be durable enough to handle a longer season than any season he's had to deal with so far? He's That's never played 17 games. Two and seven. to be honest with you, the way that the uh NFL is going. You're probably gonna be at 18, 19 games before my man's career is over. So how what can we do to to make this this dude durable enough to be able to handle the rigors of a full season? And and I'll say over the course of his career, as he's getting older, I mean, I expect him to be like probably 225, 230 by the time his career is over. And I honestly would prefer if it happens slowly, because when it happens slowly you have time to adjust to the weight so you maintain your athleticism. If he puts on too much weight by the time the season starts, he's going to feel his his feet will be heavy. He'll be sluggish, and that will get rid of one of his main weapons at this point. But I think as – I mean, I just think it's a natural thing. As he gets older yeah, and loses I think that's mobility – he's going to put it on natural. Yeah, as he gets older and loses mobi- some mobility, you expect his knowledge of the game – to basically take over, you know what I'm saying? So it's like he'll be a, he'll be able to do more, play a little bit more like Aaron Rodgers, like where he's just using his knowledge of the game to dice you up so he never even has to run. You think about Aaron Rodgers doesn't usually have to run because he tears you up without ever having to, without ever having to leave the pocket. And I think that that's what's going to happen with Jaden Daniels. Um, I, I mean, I grant you now, I don't like the fact that you got people talking about him t- saying – our potential quarterback got a snatch waist. I don't like that. You know, I heard somebody say he got the body of a sw- sports illustrated swimsuit model. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. But I also understand that he's a young man and you hit a point in your natural development where food's going to take <laughs> over. And the other factor is that from what I understand, he's such a film junkie that he wasn't hitting the weight room like he's supposed to. Cause in his mind, I need to get, I don't, I need to get better at understanding the game and weights was kind of like uh, on the back burner, but I feel like our staff is going to be like, Hey man, you, you need to, mm-hmm. and to be honest with you, let him get hit one time by the right person. He'll start to understand. <laughs> he'll be at the weight room. You know, he, they'll get him a key to the weight room. Cause he'll be there first thing in the morning. He'll be mm-hmm. turning the lights on for you. You want to add, tell him no more. He'll be like, okay. well, he didn't, he didn't even lift at this pro day. So it wasn't a big thing. I think I think uh, Mariota is going to be part of that though, because Mariota is like a gym rat. They said that to me. I, I have zero confidence. In fact, can you have negative confidence? Because I have less than zero confidence in Marcus Mariota. I believe you can. It's out there. It's out there. Biggest team. Is this team ready for a playoff run? Uh, no, not, not not the team. Hold on, hold on. Not the team. Is this city ready for a playoff type team? Are we ready? For a, a, a forward motion going north as opposed to just sitting stagnant at number fifteen picking every year, are we are we ready? Is the streets ready for that? I mean, the streets, the streets are ready. <laughs> the streets are ready. I mean, it's, but it's just like again, it it all depends on like what direction are we going to go as quarterback? You know what I'm saying? And people mm-hmm. don't have the pay. We don't have the patience. To wait one or two, we want, we want, we want progress now. You know what I'm saying? And the way and the way management has set it up, it looks like they've got that together. Because I mean, again, like I said, the defense that we have could be, you know, a top ten, top fifteen defense, and that's all you really need. Now it's just all about we have the receivers, get a couple pieces in the um in the draft, and we could be right up there. Because I mean, right now. The only people that we got to worry about in the NFC is the same team, and uh, is the Eagles, the Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? The 
the Green Bay Packers. I mean, the usual Tampa Bay. I mean, but we could we can easily sneak in and get a and, and get a wild card. We can sneak. We can get in there at like, you know, what I'm saying nine, maybe nine and eight, ten and ten and six. You know, what I'm saying we can we can get in there. But again, who are we gonna have under who are we gonna have under center come week one? Are we gonna have somebody? That's not ready. We're gonna to have to sit there and wait a few weeks for them to get ready. Are we gonna have, you know, Jaden Daniels? You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's ready to go week one. Are they gonna have him, you know, ready to go? I, I don't we don't know. But as far as the city wanting this, we've been ready for the playoffs. Hey, one thing before Big Al uh, get uh, taking us out. Uh are we ready for another quarterback with a nickname? JD five, RG three. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Unless they, unless they win a, or unless they win a playoff game, they can keep their nickname to themselves. <laughs> I want our quarterback to have to to do so well that he ends up like being one of those single name dudes, like Mahomes, Lamar, you know, Brady. They don't even say. You know, they don't even say his whole name, and they know you beyond nicknames. It's just hey, that's hey, it. As long as, they, as long as they don't name him Snatch, <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know what? I take Snatch over Cries with Mom when the rest of the team is in the locker room. <laughs> cries with Mom, nah. yeah, hey, man, that's we... my. That, and to be honest with you, and I say this, I know we got. I must. Can I say one thing? Because okay. with the last time I was on, I was talking about my man crying with his mom. It's not the fact that he was crying that I object to. Is that he's the leader of the team. The team is in the locker room. He abandoned the team to go cry to his mom, like the heck with what y'all need from me. At this point, <laughs> I'm thinking about myself. I object to that. And I God bless you. I hope Chicago loves their time with him. Hey, listen, when you, know, <laughs> you know, sometimes you go say hi to somebody and you start to break down, man. We're so happy to see him. He just break down, man. Uh, just, no, man. No. no, man. No. no. The whole, no. Okay, did you see any other players from the team in the stands? <laughs> no. The rest of the team well, was in the locker hey, room. To be fair, Garage Life, the, the cameras wasn't following nobody. Else. They were following the display. The rest of the team was <laughs> in the locker the room. Was following you the know why? Team. Okay, hold up. Y'all all played. At the game, you lose. Where did, did you go hang out or did you go in the locker room? Going straight. I'm going, I'm going looking for yeah, some I ain't trying to talk to nobody. I'm in the locker room. My man said, oh, the There was room, always one person that I was talking to. <laughs> Mama said every day, like, No, man, go yeah. in the locker room. <laughs> look, if look, you want to cry there, if you want to cry after your press conference, I, all that's fine. But you cannot, you in a, look, when I was in the military, I was in a leadership position. I've been in leadership positions. You don't, you've been entrusted with a leadership position because you're expected to put others before yourself. You can't say, oh, well, I'm emotionally distraught at this Discipline. moment. Nah, this turn moment. around, go in the locker room with the people who are depending on you because they're going to depend on you next game too. What's my movie called? I'm, Ain't no crying in baseball. And, and that was my <laughs> point about it too. <laughs> that was my point. It wasn't even a national championship. It wasn't even, it, it was just a regular game. No, to be yeah, fair, that game already, signified though. that he was kicked out of the national championship conversation. He was um, the husband. Yeah, but you still had another game to play. It he wasn't did, like your up. last game. Hey, See, the national like, championship like, conversation. Like, wow, yeah, but bro. your the last Heisman, game. Oh, no, I won't get the Heisman again. Right, right. right. The yeah, last teammates, game. Think about this, too. Um, All the other players got kicked out the national championship conversation. <laughs> Should he not have been back there with his team? Hey, yeah, man, but the, yeah. yeah, but we're gonna bounce back it's from this. It's different when it's your last game. It's I'm your last game last of your college career. Back, You're man. allowed oh, to cry oh, that. Oh, That's man. your last game. In the locker room everybody, with your team. He's everybody a hometown kid. Everybody I'm not bashing the hometown. When I went to the IKF Nationals in kickboxing, all right, and I took an L to to Danny Kelly. I, I thought I was going to win. I took an L to Danny Kelly. He, he TKO'd me. Okay, fine. You think I wasn't emotional right then and there? Oh, yeah. I didn't want to run to somebody in the Absolutely. family and play. Oh, I hurt. No, I went in the locker room because we had another person fighting after me. It's not about you. It's about your team. Okay. And not even just the, Okay, hold on, hold on. Not even just crying to his mom. I can see if he just laid flat out in the field and just cried. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You left it all on. You left it all on the field or whatever. Hey, I've been like, man, get up and go in the dang locker room. Hey, with your man. Team. I yeah, people say go there with just, your team. Like, Damn, not, go be but, with but, your but, team. Yeah, you need you. Right. That's my objection. We are so your team rough needs you, man. We are so we're rough. About you can be by yourself who, when you're shooting your commercials. Go on, with your we're, team. We're talking about a guy that we're not getting. We don't know. Bro. We don't know. The I'm whole town that dude to Chicago. Come back. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, yo, look, 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 look. I got you. Guys. <laughs> look. We're going to be talking about the draft for the next month. Uh, the DMV Sports 3, the OGs are going to have multiple shows for this next month. Absolutely. And Biggie Steve, we're gonna have Grass Life as our scouts. We're gonna bring Dude, Dub. Look, it's even on the screen. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have Dub coming on as the fan, as the expert analysis coming on with us. Look out for upcoming shows, fellas. Look out for what we're gonna be doing the next month. Love you, DK, Listen, man. This, this Love you, big guy. At the end of the month, yeah. the commanders are gonna pick every Biggie pick. Steve. Kool-Aid Jones, baby. Kool-Aid Jones is coming Kool-Aid. to the Commanders, baby. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, we appreciate y'all coming on with us, man. I got to go in and see y'all. I'm about to say, hey, hey, happy Easter, everybody. Bring that Kool-Aid. Oh, happy Easter, family. Uh, happy, Easter. happy Easter, everybody. Yeah, happy Easter.